Incandescent light bulbs, are they the best or are they outdated? Let's try to figure it out. LED lights have taken over the market, but are incandescent lights really obsolete? I love incandescent lights and I would use them everywhere if I could, but they have the one big drawback that everybody knows about, they just use more energy. So other than that, I think they have a lot of benefits. So let's talk about some of the pros for incandescent lights. One of the first pros and the main pro is they are cheap. You can find them everywhere. They have not been banned like incandescent bulbs have or will be. Can't keep up on all that. But Christmas lights fall under the novelty light. So as of right now, they are not banned. You can go to Lowe's, Home Depot at Christmas. You can buy some. You can go on Amazon. I ordered some the other day. So you can still find Christmas lights that are incandescent. It's not very hard and they're really cheap. You can buy 25 of them for 10 bucks online and maybe even a little bit cheaper, you know, Lowe's and Home Depot around the Christmas season. So it's still not hard to find incandescent Christmas lights and people still use them on their house. And one of the reasons people use them on their house is they still provide that warm traditional glow. A lot of people just can't get away from the vintage classic look that an incandescent light gives. And I'm one of those people, I love that look. The light is so much calmer than the modern LED lights. There are some that are getting better, but a lot of LED lights are just still too harsh to put on your house or especially in your house. And sometimes not as bad outside. However, incandescent lights don't have that problem. You're still used to the warm glow that you get. You can tell this is an incandescent Christmas set with these mini lights. And you can tell that these are incandescent lights behind me especially when they have this twinkling effect. The twinkle on a incandescent is extremely random and unpredictable. LEDs can be kind of robotic. But one of the cool things about twinkle lights on incandescents is that there's a film inside when it warms up, it makes the light churn off and then when it cools off, it'll churn back on. So when you turn on these lights, they all work for a little bit and then as they heat up, they do this twinkle and you just can't reproduce a classic incandescent twinkle bulb. So incandescent lights have been around a long time. So that's just another benefit is everybody's used to them. Everybody likes them. You know, there's some people that won't go anywhere near LED, but people love the classic look of an incandescent light still. Another great benefit of incandescent lights is you can dim them. And I do put my lights on a dimmer on the house and incandescent lights you can use any dimmer and it'll work because it's just putting less electricity to the bulb so any dimmer for uh, incandescent has always worked for me if you're using led you kind of have to make sure that they work together and that can take a little bit of time so if you want lights to be dim if you want christmas lights in a room and you want to dim them later in the day or in the evening you can do that i have lights on my steps that i use a dimmer for and so I dim them so they're not so bright when I have them when it's not Christmas season. So incandescent lights, no problem dimming them. So one cool thing about incandescent lights is you can use them on your garden when it gets cold. People will have lemon trees and they will put incandescent lights on the tree when it gets cold because it will produce heat that will at least keep enough heat around it if we're going to have a cold night to stop your plant from getting frost. So they are beneficial because you can't use modern LEDs on a garden like that to make it work. Let me interrupt real quick with one of my favorite benefits is that incandescent lights do not flicker. LED lights can flicker, it's super annoying, it bothers me, I know it bothers other people. It can give people headaches, so I really dislike the flicker, but incandescent lights, they have no flicker. And so you can, you know, maybe see it when I do this. I don't see any like normal flicker. If I look at the screen, I see some, but that's from the camera screen. But the light bulbs themselves, they're just always on. They're not flickering. And to me, it makes them so much better. It just doesn't bother me and get annoying. Some LED lights are getting better. They have 120 Hertz, which means they turn on and off 120 times a second instead of 60. It's still there, but it's getting better. But if you want no flicker, you gotta go with incandescent bulbs. Incandescent bulbs come in many different varieties, which is cool. You have C9s, which are these big ones, and you'll put these on your house, on your gutters. You'll have C7, and I put these around my bushes outside in front of my house. You can also put these on your Christmas tree. Speaking of your Christmas tree, you put lots of mini lights on your Christmas tree. And so 
the mini light is the classic light that everybody has and uses, and this is what LED is trying to represent, but LED hasn't done that yet. But so these are some of the different varieties. There are many different types, especially incandescent Christmas bulbs they use, and they have different um, bases that go into different connectors. Now we're going to talk about maintenance. So we all know that these lights can be a pain. If one light goes out, the whole string can go out. I have a string right here and one bulb's out and half the string doesn't work. So when you're talking about mini lights, if one, you pull out one bulb, they might all go out. And we all know how much of a pain that that really is. But a benefit of the big bulbs is the way they're wired. If I take out one bulb right here, the rest of the bulbs will still work. So that is a benefit of using these C7s and C9 bulbs, is if one goes out, it won't affect the rest of them. So if you have your house lined in big bulbs, you'll have a spot where there's no bulb right there. However, you don't have to climb up there because your whole run is not working. So these work well for Christmas trees, but if you had these on your house, your whole house would stop working if you had one go out. So the, that's what makes these great to put on your house because you might have a spot, but the rest of the house will still be lit up. If you're someone who wants a vintage aesthetic at Christmas on your house, incandescent bulbs are what you want. They still are easy to find. They are relatively cheap to buy. The color rendering is really good, which means it will accurately render colors to colors that we're used to. They turn on right away, they are dimmable, they really don't have any downsides. But let's talk about some of the downsides that they do have. Number one is the main one that we all know about. They use a lot of energy. So I think I read somewhere it's 90% of the energy in this bulb is not being used for light, it's to create heat. Which you can use that heat to your advantage if you put it around your garden when it's cold, but you're wasting a lot of electricity. So one of these bulbs is seven watts. So if you have 100 bulbs, you're already at 700 watts. And if you have LED, that might be, you know, 10 watts. So you're going to spend a lot more on your electric bill than you would versus an LED. And so I think we've all kind of come to that, you know, realization and we just know that. But it is something to remember when you're going to use incandescent bulbs. You're going to get the look you want, but you're going to pay for it with your electric bill. It also makes it a little bit harder to have long runs because you can't just plug everything in to one outlet or you can't have runs, which are the length of the Christmas lights on your house, just go the whole thing and plug it into one end. Like you might be able to with an LED, there's still math you have to do to figure out how many watts you can do. But if you do too many voltage and watts, you will have problems. So there's some safety issues. You just have to plan around that and think that you're not going to be able to put it all onto one outlet. Also, these are glass bulbs. Glass bulbs can break. Most LEDs are plastic. So if you have glass ones like these, they'll break. They're also not as durable. There's a filament inside and they really only last a year or two. So you can have LEDs that'll last 10 years. You know, I know some say they'll last longer. If you have good ones, they'll last 10 years but incandescent bulbs, they just don't last that long. And so I'm replacing them, the ones I have every year because they're not built to last. So now you're getting into the environmental impact. You're having to throw more away. You're having to produce more electricity, you know, so just kind of keep that in mind. You know, it's still good to protect what we have. So outside of those few reasons that can make incandescent a little bit hard to use, I still have incandescent around my house. I only have them in a few little spots, especially where they're most noticeable because they are just expensive to run. They're cheap to buy, but I don't want my winter electric bill to be so high like it is in the summer when we're using air conditioning. There are some LED brands that are coming around and making it really close. And so I like those and I've you know talked about those in other videos, but so I have a lot of those in my house to get that vintage look. So you kind of have to weigh where you want to spend the money at the end of the month or at a one-time purchase up front and then hopefully they last a long time and then can pay themselves back. All right, so right here we have incandescent bulbs up on the gutter. These are C9s that have the vintage classic yellow glow right here. These are about 25 bulbs. So the only problem with these is at seven watts a piece, it's a lot of watts being used 
just on this short little run right here. But other than that, they look amazing and they'll just glow beautifully, especially in the evenings. Thank you for spending some time with me. We've got a lot more lights to put up in the next couple weeks. So follow along and we'll have lights everywhere by the time we're done. Have a great evening.